Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Zafar Bangash. Welcome to ICIT Crescent Digital Library video presentations. On February 13th, uh, the U.S. Senate uh, finally voted, but it did not impeach Donald Trump. Uh, perhaps the vote was, uh, or the outcome was, a foregone conclusion because of the deep divisions, the political divisions in the United States. The vast majority of Republicans were simply not prepared to abandon Trump, not because they love Trump, but because of the fact that 74.2 million Americans had voted for Trump, and that was the constituency that these Republican senators were also going to appeal to ultimately. The vote in the Senate was 57 to 43, and uh, what was needed was 67 votes, that is two-thirds majority in the Senate. And so the Democratic-led Senate failed to impeach Trump because only seven Republicans voted with them. It's not that Trump was not guilty of what he was charged with, for, that is inciting the mob to violence and to attack uh, the Capitol uh, Hill where senators and uh, members of the House of Representatives were meeting on January the 6th to confirm Joe Biden as president. Now the United States remains a deeply divided society and uh, the Republicans that uh, voted against uh, Trump's impeachment did so what one would refer to as the cannibalistic instinct, which is that you, if you believe that there is a large majority of people that believe in a certain uh, way, uh, which is that they think Trump is their savior, uh, although Trump is a complete fraud, he's a crook, uh, he has, he's a billionaire, and yet these ordinary Americans, the overwhelming majority, of course, white supremacists, uh, follow him completely blindly. So these people, these Republican senators believe that that vote bank is also their bank because obviously they can't appeal to the Democratic supporters. And the cannibalistic instinct comes into play in the sense that in a democracy you go with the majority. Now if let's say uh, people were to end up in a colony of cannibals, then obviously the majority of the people there believe in cannibalism, so you have to accept it because that's the majority opinion. Of course, you hope that you don't end up on somebody's dinner plate, but beyond that, uh, the majority rules. And that's the problem with majoritarianism. That's what we see uh, operating in India, for instance, where the Hindutva uh, majority is terrorizing the minorities, religious minorities, whether they are Muslims, Christians, Dalits, or Sikhs, etc., because uh, that is the mentality that pervades over there. America's problems, uh, of course, are much deeper. They are structural, they are uh, economic, they are political, they are social. America is a deeply divided society. It has been for centuries. Uh, the blacks have always been oppressed. And, of course, today, uh, America's infrastructure has crumbled. You see there are thousands of bridges and highways in bad shape. Uh, factories have closed all over uh, because uh, America has spent trillions of dollars on weapons to wage wars against other people in order to rob their resources, but not to benefit the American people, but to benefit the tiny 1% of the population that controls uh, America's wealth. Just to get a glimpse into how deeply divided America is, a century ago, that means a hundred years ago, the difference between the richest and poorest people in America in terms of income was 3 to 1. Today, that gap has widened to 100 to 1. The top 1% of American population owns more wealth than the bottom 50% of the population. And of course, America also has a lot of guns uh, within people's hands. Uh, out of the 330 million people, there are 372 million guns, some of them heavy uh, weapons uh, in, in the possession of people. 
and America also leads the world in the number of people that are imprisoned, 2.3 million of them. In fact, building prisons is a, is a very lucrative business and the businesses compete with each other in order to build prisons and to run them because it's very profitable. And we also see America's total failure in, in the healthcare system by failing to provide support to the most vulnerable. That's why America has the largest number of deaths, uh, more than 450,000, as well as the largest number of infections in the world by far. So America's deep divisions are not likely to disappear anytime soon, even if Trump has not been convicted or not been impeached in the Senate on February the 13th. America's problems are continued to increase, but the real danger is that in the past, American oligarchs have tried to divert attention from their internal problems by waging wars abroad. And one hopes that that doesn't happen, but one cannot rule out the possibility because American rulers and oligarchs absolutely have no scruples or morals. They are ex ab absolutely criminal minded and they don't care how many millions of people they killed in the rest of the world. Thank you for watching. I'm Zafar Bangash. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.